We can get more meat when more people leave, so that's nice. So one of the needs I need to fulfill is leisure. I think I need le 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 leisure. Did I write that? I don't know how you do this though. It's annoying that you can't properly get that done. But anyways, leisure is a service you get in certain places. This need is fulfilled in the tavern, monastery, or forum. Tavern. Can I? No. I think it's ill. I don't know, man. So ale, where do I make it? I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I want to see it as a product. Yes, ale. I have a brewery. I can make ale over here. Okay. So I'm obviously gonna have to use up some of those other things then. That's a little dangerous. This is actually my last food. <laughs> Uh, okay. I need to start digging up um, another glade again, guys. I need more farmland. There's farmland over here. Dude, my eagle eye. Amazing. I never miss anything on the screen, dude. That's quality content. Always just, you know, sharp. Look at that. I just saw that through the forest and the flames. I carry on. That's new. What do you mean? I think we should remove low blind. I think low blind is a redundant emote. We don't need that anymore. High level of corruption. What is this? The government? <laughs> no, no. Um, I'm gonna make... How much wood do I have? Plenty. We're gonna make a little bit more. Is this the FIFA? <laughs> oh man, you can't just bring up FIFA like that, Shotgun Seasons. The Americans in the chat were just getting over it, man. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, guys. Shotgun Season brought it up. Ah, dude. Look, I wasn't gonna say anything, okay, about that grueling defeat you guys suffered against the Netherlands 3 to 1 just a couple of days ago. That must have been really hard. I wasn't gonna bring it up, but. Shotgun season. A little bit mean, dude. Okay, we're gonna get you guys out of the woodcutter camp. Everybody get a little bit happy before the woodcutting yeah, commences. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was 3 to 1. Yeah, 3 to 1 is what it was. That's not real football anyways. Uh, excuse me, you're gonna have to refer to what you used to call soccer as, as football right now, Ballistical. That was part of the deal, okay? That was actually a little exchange on Twitter. Um, I don't know if I can find this. I think I linked it on Discord. I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, oh, I don't know if I can find it this easily. Uh Ah, here we go. So, a couple days ago, Biden tweeted this, which I thought was kind of funny. It's called soccer. Go USA. Then the USA ended up losing against the Netherlands, and the Dutch Prime Minister said, Heads up. Sorry, Joe, football won. And then Joe responded saying, strictly speaking, shouldn't it be football? Which is the Dutch spelling of football. Kidding aside, congrats to your team and country, Mark. A rematch in New Zealand. <laughs> this is kind of a funny exchange. It's a little uh, surreal, but anyway. Couple of uh, powerful people shit talking on Twitter. I mean, nothing too crazy there, I guess, but... <laughs> I just wonder if it's like I know I know that it's it's very likely it is the actual Dutch prime minister, right? Cuz you know, he's old but not not at that level yet where I feel like he, you know, has other writers in his hands and he can't properly type on a phone. I wonder 
<laughs> do you think that was actually Biden typing? Or do you think that's one of the people in his team saying, yo, Mr. Mr. Biden, is it okay if, if we if we post this? I I kind of hope that it's it has to be one of the people, right? I kind of hope that those people are busy enough that they don't have time to trash talk each other on Twitter. But well, obviously they have social media teams, right? I get that, but even if you have a social media team, I would assume you're not just gonna want to have you know a 21 year intern or a 21 year old intern on on you know the president's Twitter account. <laughs> There has to be a certain level of... I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, now in the next round, uh, the Netherlands has to... go up against Argentina, I think. I'm sure that's going to be another easy win, guys. <clears throat> the Argentinian... They're not, they're not particularly... Me what? Me mess who? No idea who that is. Is he good at that game? Can he kick a ball? Historically, Holland versus Argentina apparently has been uh, back and forth. Apparently, it's been... Uh... Messi's gonna Messi. The Dutch defense is actually really good, though. Like, I know very little about football, but apparently everyone's hyped about the Dutch defense. I think it'll actually be interesting. It apparently starts at 8 p.m. on Friday, which is the end of my live stream. So, you know, I'm not gonna say they planned it, you know, they planned it like that, but uh, I do appreciate it. I actually don't know who's favored to win it all. Uh, I think France. France and Argentina are probably some of the favorites. I think France is probably favored. Does anyone know? There's definitely someone who's more aware of this sport than me. France is the favorite? Okay. Virgil van Dijk seems like the most Dutch name ever. No, that's not. Virgil is not really a very Dutch name. Apparently, he's really good, though. He's the really tall guy, right? Like, even by Dutch standards. Okay, I think one of our dudes is going to leave. Maybe? That's okay. A farmer left, but we get meat. Ooh. Gain 10 jerky for every 10 pie. I'm gonna pick that one. Is Germany still in it? Because they're always the favorite? Uh, I don't know. They're out. That is kind of interesting though, because they historically have always been really good. Oh yeah, they got wrecked by Japan, that's true. You call hacks? Yeah. No, apparently Japan is actually legit good now. Which is kind of cool. I wouldn't have caught that either, but... They like sitting in the rain mill because it makes them happy. Sitting in the rain mill is very romantic. More guys making oil. More oil is always better than less oil. Although I actually don't have a lot of oil anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm producing none of it.
Oil's pretty hype, man. What's this sport that people are talking about? Yeah, so you see, like, how some... Um, like, say, for example, you have a game of StarCraft 2, right? Where you have two professional gamers facing off against each other. And they're both really good strategically. They're really fast with their hands. They've practiced for many, many years, and they've gotten very good at it. You have that as well for what people call T-sports, which is the opposite of eSports. Electronic sports is this traditional sports. Uh, yeah, it's like FIFA 23. Exactly. So T-sports and eSports uh, go hand in hand. This does require you to go outside. Yes. So that's why I don't recommend it. Not even for a second. Why play a game outside when you can play on a computer? To be fair, people have been doing that for longer than computers have been around for. So I think that's probably a lot, you know, to do with it. Just play hockey that's mostly indoors? No, no, no. Hockey, hockey is played in a field with a stick, dude. It's very much so uh, outdoors. Can you rage quit T-Sports? Uh, you can, but it's frowned upon. What's going on, Dita Hunter? How are you doing, by the way, Truck Door? Welcome to the stream. Can you be chat banned in T-Sports? Technically, yes, but again, frowned upon. Uh, I actually don't have that much food. Kind of wish I was having more. Hold up, let me have a quick peek. So how much do I need? I need 15. I can sell a couple of those. I can put in all of that. I don't need any more of that, I don't think. I'll keep two. I can sell some of that too. Okay, now I just want to buy your food. Just however much I can afford. That's it? That's all I can afford? Okay. Let's go down, truck door. Thank you for the prime sub, man. Appreciate it. Um, I'll sell what little flower I have. I'll sell a bunch of that, too. Okay. We're gonna dig our way into the next area. I should probably have set up a uh, nice little area over here, too. I need eight sets of barrels. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Seven, eight. There we go. And then I also need four of these things. I think that'll do. If you guys could maybe cut into that, that thing a little bit faster, that would be fantastic, lads. I don't want to, like, you know, make you get stressed out or whatever, but, like, it would be really helpful if you could just cut down a couple of those trees. Oh, you guys are set up to avoid glades, that's why. That, was <laughs> that explains that. Okay. Farmland. Uh, ooh, I've got 634 spark dew, man. I need a trader that comes in with some fucking spark dew uh, buying privileges. That would be sick. Ooh, 13 machinery. That's really nice. I don't know how much of that I've got, but I think I'm going to try and win this game. I think I can do it. A manufactory. Training gear, pigments, packs of provisions. Okay.
I also want to make food over here. Okay, I want to set this up a little bit closer to where we have storage. So hopefully we can get some more wood. Good. Playing to win in 2022. I know. That is a little toxic. I'm toxic. I'm... That's my favorite Justin Bieber song. Okay. Is it possible to make the Christmas tree focus in the background? Yes. I'll just roll out of the frame. Sorry for ruining your view of the tree. Can I come back? Okay, I'm gonna come back now. Don't come back, Loco. No, well, I've already come back. There's green balls. Yeah, we call those in English baubles. I also called them balls when I first started streaming, but I learned the hard way that apparently in English you don't call Christmas ornament balls, but you call them baubles. Weird. <sighs> did I pay for them in blood? Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood? I, I did not pay for them in blood, no. Do you think I can win this, guys? Bulbs? I think we should call them balls. Okay. I get the artisan now. Fair. I can almost complete this thing. I wish you could just click on it and then we'd just switch to the thing, but... Okay. What are you doing, mate? Why are you idling? Okay, just make some of it, please. Thank you. Uh, I got another one of these things as well. I don't think I really need any of these. Packs of luxury goods, isn't that what I needed? Okay, actually I do need one of these. Packs of luxury goods. We'll make that in a moment. And then I need a leisure fulfilled for one of the other things, right? The so leisure and education in the forum. I don't know what's easier in this particular one. Leisure or education? Or I don't know. Uh, I can I can choose one of the one of the options here. There's a forum. I have zero scrolls. I also have no training gear. Training. Training gear. This I cannot really make. Scroll is leather. Or wood, okay. And pigments. Man, it's too much. Pigment I can make off of things. Okay, I guess I'll pick the... I think I'll pick the forum, but... Yeah. Okay, so first off, we need to make the forum.
Okay. And then I also need to make the other structure I just got. The artisan? No. What was the other upgrade I got? The carpenter? Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Beautiful road. Okay, so building this is gonna bring me to the next level here as well, actually, which is quite important. Don't think I'm gonna be able to clear that, but... I'm gonna disable that just to try and get us high a point right here on Resolve once again. There's a high level of corruption. Maybe I should also get one of those... Hydrant set up over here somewhere. There you go. Okay, gonna remove the guys out of woodcutting altogether. I've got 103 lumber. There's woodcutter camp. One, two, three. Where is the last one? Woodcutter's camp. Remember when I said that I had the eyes of a hawk? Me neither. Where the fuck is it? Wait, hold up. I do have... Ah, okay, that one was in a baited position, though. That one barely counted. I'm gonna remove you guys out of that, too. Okay, up that number as fast as we can. Do I have the ears of a fox? I most definitely don't have the ears of a fox, no. My ears kind of suck, actually. I can't believe you're making fun of that right now. Wow, bro. Wow. I have the eyes of a bet. Wait, mm. Villagers are quick to implement newly acquired knowledge in their daily lives. The chance for bonus production yields is increased by 15%. Ooh, that is good. Okay, everybody's getting tilted. They are getting tilted pretty fast. I don't think there's much I can do about it. Can I slow it down by any chance? Slow down the tilt. No, I can't slow down the tilt. So someone's going to leave. Maybe multiples of you will leave, but I get more meat. They think they leave, but then suddenly, bada bing, bada boom, we have more meat. Where does it come from? Where does it go? Nobody knows. We don't ask such questions around this, this stream. One of my rain dudes left. I only have... About... How much? 777 spark dew, okay? I cannot have you leaving here. I will make packs of luxury goods. I mean, I don't use any of this. Packs of luxury goods. I need 25 of them. Go ahead, make it. Probably make 30 or so. To sell some extras. Then I can turn this one in. Pack of trade goods. So I don't need to make this anymore. I also don't need to make that anymore. And I also don't need to make... That. I mean, it's still nice for selling, I suppose, but... Okay. Hey, what's going on, Rushy? How are you doing today? Guys, Rushy's here. Guys, the stream can begin. He has arrived! Everybody rejoice! It's cold and snowy? Rushy did right away, sysadmin. Wow, man. Are you immediately bringing up that defeat that the USA suffered last su Saturday, 3-2-1 uh, against the Netherlands? Are you, are you immediately bringing that up as soon as Rushy comes in here? I find that very mean of you, man. He's still not quite over it. 
And you just immediately bring up how the USA got absolutely decimated, man. That is... That's a sore spot, man. Ay, 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 ay. Very mean. We should have had Team Iowa. I think Team Iowa would have won. Like, if the UK gets, you know, Team Scotland, Team England. Like, if they get multiple teams, I think we also need to have a team for every one of the states. Team Ohio. I feel like Team Alabama would do really well. <laughs> Alabamers. They're well known for their football skills. Team Florida. Yeah. I don't know anything about Florida other than the fact that there's alligators. And that Nolan lives there. And that old people go there too, actually. Oh, I know a lot of things about Al or not about Alabama, about Florida. I'm basically a Florida expert. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Florida man lives there. Yep. Guys, I think we may actually be winning. Like, I don't want to start cheering too early, but, uh... Zork is here. Didn't even realize he was coming. I will buy all of this, Zork. Oh! That's half a, half a little bar at the bottom. Jinxed it? No, 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 no. We don't jinx nothing. Okay, I can sell the excess of this, the excess of that, of that, can sell a couple of these things as well, I'll keep a few, okay. This will make everybody happy. We'll try and get some passive improvements over here. 0.14 a minute right now. I don't think I really even need to worry about this anymore. The need for leisure. I need some more people. Okay, I'll remove um, everybody out of the blight post here temporarily. Don't, don't let that jump below over here, though. But I need to move this. Harpy resolve is low. Ask me how much I care. Okay, fine. I care a little bit. Oh, we got a new glade. Don't think I should have done that, to be honest. There's a lot of resources around here, though. Um, minus eight on global resolve. Voila. 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 Actually, this is totally fine. People are gonna get a little bit angry, but that's okay. We've got this thing done right now, so we're gonna get a hub. Hub gives me plus two to global resolve, more resistance as well on the hearth. We can get ill going over here. Blizzard resolve is immediately very low. I make them do something that they don't like and immediately they get tilted. Classic beavers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
bunch of people over here as well if I want them. We're almost at 25 packs of luxury goods. That's gonna solve part of that. This is gonna give me a lot of... Yeah, I think I've won. I've won. So this in combination with the other thing will win me the game. So this is gonna give me 0.75. The last one will give me one. I need a couple more packs of luxury goods. Why are you guys not making them? Use the wine, dude. Use the wine. Get it going. Prestige level 3, guys. Not easy at all. And I actually was ready to give up on this run earlier, but it turns out you can still salvage pretty well. I'm not gonna take any chances here. But I'm fairly sure this is GG. So I get my points for that. And then I can turn this one in. Settlement complete. And this was even in one of the harder areas, too. Very nice. New Citadel upgrades because I'm level 11. Can produce pigment, wine, and ale in the tinctury. Okay, a furnace for copper bricks and pie. Or copper bricks and pie. A butcher, skewers, jerky, and oil. A new form of grain. Moldy grain seeds gain three mushrooms for every 10 grain produced. An unusual amount of supplies can be found in some glades. Gain 40 meat and 40 grain for each completed dangerous or forbidden glade. Okay. The people are invigorated by every discovered cache. Gain a stack of wealth effect plus one for every two caches open. Okay. Very nice. We're already at 69 out of 700 as well for the next one. And I got a whole lot of deeds done too. Good amount of rewards. Very nice. Loco gonna claim this victory as my- Oh yeah, yeah, you're here now, Agaring. Thank you to Agaring for being here and providing us with everything we needed. We've unlocked the wall crossing. As well as a wall. Very nice. Built that we can now make it. Okay, so this is expensive as hell, though. You gain plus 30 seconds of time after reaching maximum impatience to try and save your settlement. Oh, uh, we don't need that. That never happens to me. Not even all the time. Um. You can see more of the world map at the beginning. You can gain another embarkation bonus. You gain a permanent plus one of the number of trade routes you have active at once. This is good. Oh, I don't have enough artifacts. Okay, then. Fine, I won't take it. Harpy house. Let's so uh, yeah, yeah, we want that for sure. Harpy houses will now obviously also lower the amount of things that actually are shuffled in the deck when we pick something, right? So You gain a new embarkation bonus to choose from when starting a settlement, the herbalist camp. Okay, I'm gonna pick that too. So wait, now when I start a new run? I am second right now, that's cool. Uh, when I start a new run... Interesting. When I start a new run, I get a bunch of new stuff. I can... Ch oh, okay. So I can choose this as a four-point starting thing. So I now also have Prestige 4. Villagers with low resolve leave faster. Yeah, I now also have Harpy Houses permanently, just like the previous ones. Loco forward settled the golden ones. So the brass order. This is the brass order over here. But they're not they're not doing anything next run, apparently. Uh, 
Oh, I can actually go there, no problem. I think it goes all the way up to Prestige 20, from what I understand. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get there, man. I'm enjoying this game a lot, but at some point I can imagine I'll probably get a little tired of it. We're already kind of getting to the point where the upgrades are getting really expensive. Takes hours to unlock stuff. But, I mean, we when I first started playing, I didn't think I was gonna get this far. So maybe I will unlock everything, but... Anyway, still enjoying it. <sighs> Guys, welcome back. Against the Storm. Yesterday, I did a run on Prestige 3, and it went really well. As a matter of fact, we got some upgrades here as well. We got a bunch of improvements done. I built a really nice city. And even though I didn't think it was going particularly well, I actually salvaged it quite nicely. And we honestly were just fine. I could have probably kept going too, uh, without all too many problems. Which is kind of cool. Um, I am... The red one. <clears throat> okay, so this is my base right over here that I built, right? There is a question mark all the way over there, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go in that area anyways. We should probably just aim for as many... Loaves of bread as I can. 78. So it's 90 over here. 90 over here too. I think I'll probably go like this so they're still connected. I don't know if that does anything for me, but I think it does. I am leaning towards them right away because I like humans. I like beavers. I don't really like harpies too much. Do I have anything that I like? Not really. Prestige 4. So Prestige 4 will make people with low resolve leave faster, which actually would have been a problem in yesterday's attempt, to be honest. Like, yesterday's attempt, I... <laughs> I was using that mechanic uh, quite a bit. Gain one additional cornerstone reroll. Herbalist camp is five points, so I can't be bothered with that. I will certainly get that. Uh, we are once again in the royal woodlands. Yes. So... There's no stone there, so I think this is my setup gonna be. Yeah, this is what it's gonna be, okay. Cool. So, for those of you wondering, every time you complete the previous prestige difficulty, it adds a new prestige. And it gets harder and harder and harder and harder and harder. This game is sick though. Liking it a lot. Okay. Plus five to spark dew production. Really good. Discovering a glade during the storm will decrease global resolve by minus 10 for 3 minutes. That is not a problem at all. Villager speed off-road is decreased by 30%, not a problem. Villagers with this effect have soaked clothes and get a minus 5 penalty, but I can fulfill it with housing, not a problem. And in this one, only the sacred flame can protect the settlement from the party sur uh, darkness surrounding it. Pay 3 wood for every villager. If you don't, they will leave. Well, that's, that's kind of... Okay. Um, gonna need a lot of wood cutting in this game. I run out of wood all the time. So I'm gonna need a kiln of some form. Because otherwise I am super screwed. Yesterday I never got the kiln. Which is what, you know, was the main problem. We, self we still salvaged it though. But I... Yeah, I wasn't feeling too good about it. I will most definitely need to cut down as many trees as I can. Obviously, the more woodcutters you have, though, and the more areas you've opened up, the more stressed out the people become as well. Just don't go above Hostility 3. Yeah, but that's very easily said. I can try and keep the Hostility level relatively low. But it's okay. Hey, it's not raining. You're right. Maybe there's not gonna be a storm, guys. Maybe the storm was fake. Okay, priority one, priority one, priority one. You guys do not burn the coal. And unpause. How much wood would a wood, wait, would a beaver wood? Yes, I'm gonna go with yes. Gonna push all of these to priority one too. Why are you guys still making the roads? That's why I'm trying to set up those priorities. 
Anyways. Anyone unfamiliar with the game? If anyone needs a quick rundown, let me know. What's the full rhyme? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I think that's the full rhyme. Uh, I'm gonna open up glades right away. Maybe I shouldn't, but I, I'm going to. Ah, uh, maybe I don't. Okay, fine. I'll try and like keep it a little low. Avoid glades for now. We'll, we'll be slower on the glades this time around. See if I like that. That does mean that I should open this up right away, though. <sighs> a rundown would help, Loco. Okay, so this is a roguelike city builder. The roguelike aspect is the rewards that you get at the end of every run. So at the end of every run, you get rewards. You can upgrade your starting base, essentially, and make the game a little bit easier next time around. Now, obviously, it gets easier, but the difficulty level also goes up, so it constantly gets harder. There's a bunch of randomized events. In the bottom left corner, there's a bunch of them right now. So these are all different kinds of modifiers that are complete RNG. There's these default buildings that I have from the start. So all of these I can already make. However, the future buildings I get by completing different tasks, and then they are chosen from like a list of buildings that it cycles through. So the first buildings over here that are showing up, um, I have to pick one of those four. I can re-roll, but that would come at the cost of 10 gold, which I currently don't have. Um, I win this game if I fill in the blue bar. The blue bar I fill in by completing tasks and objectives that will show up in the top right corner in a moment. I also have to choose those or by making my villagers very happy. So the villagers here have a number, that's their resolve level. If the resolve goes below zero, they start leaving my settlement, which is bad. And if like the resolve level is super high, they will be very happy and the people will, you know, gave me passive resolve. I lose the game if the queen's impatience goes all the way up. So basically we are like a guy, a viceroy who's been sent out to make settlements before the storm comes. Now, it does have like a day and night cycle sort of thing as well. There's like three seasons. There's Drizzle, and then there's like another season, and then there's the Storm. During the Storm, everybody gets super triggered, so I need to prevent them from leaving. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it, it's a little overwhelming initially. This one is really good, even though it's a bit fucked up. But I'm going to go with the Reinforced Axis for sure. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cool combination of games. I hadn't really seen a city builder before, but the one thing that I keep bringing up that I think is kind of clever, like whenever you play a city builder, the f like the most fun part about playing a city builder, at least in my experience, is the early game. And since you make loads of little settlements in this game that are like two hours each long, I mean, I play pretty slow, so two hours for me. Um, you make loads of small settlements. You obviously, um, yeah, get to play that early game more frequently. Does that make any sense? Is this like Timberborn without beavers? Nope. There's beavers in this game too. <laughs> I swear this game is like crack for loco. It really is kind of perfectly up my alleyway, man. Because it's like a bunch of genres of games that I really like. But on top of that, and that is like an underrated feature. Usually I do like two to three games per stream. And it's like two to three hours per segment. This game kind of like fits into one of those blocks perfectly. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, I need to get this this sorted. So there's a couple of needs that we have to fulfill. Fabric, I think I'll go with the letter worker, even though I don't really like the letter worker all too much. I think I like the other stuff even less. Yeah, furnace would be decent, but I think fabric. Yeah, I think that's okay. There's the kiln, 100% kiln. I need that 100%. So I would have picked Weaver. But I think I'm going to go Carpenter for... Eh, we can go Artisan as well. Okay, we'll go Artisan. Okay. I mean, I know a lot of people love the... Like, the problem with, like, the really big cities is that you always start... Like, the, the traffic is always the main problem, right? Like, if you play a big city builder, traffic 
And just, you know, all the... It's, it's just a disaster. It's very frustrating at some point. Oh, and there's also traders in this game. Traders are very important. Because even though there is some RNG, so these are the tasks that give me my win condition. The traders do make things a little bit more manageable. <sighs> this, this is big, dude. This is huge. Problem is, I have zero tools, and this is a timed one. This would have been super nice, but I have no way of getting that. Ah, uh, this is still pretty damn good. That one's also pretty doable. This one's impossible. Um, I will go with that one. A trading post. That's very manageable. This one's also very manageable. I think I'll go with this. Yep. Uh, okay. Wait, didn't I set you guys up to not do any... Okay. <laughs> it's okay. You guys just do the default. They get very tilted right away. I didn't want them to cut through to a glade right away. I was gonna tie... Okay, fine. I'll I'll set it up so they don't they don't do glades. I think I may have only set one of them up to not do glades. It's all right. Right, trading post. I think one area here opened up might not be a terrible idea. I would like to eat a trading post here somewhere. I can just throw it over here to be honest. It's not a huge deal. I don't really like putting it this close to the base, but... I'm gonna try and build a slightly more compact base this time around. Uh, the glades are these... sections that you see. So there's little areas, and they increase the hostility level. So the amount of glades you open up increases the hostility of the forest. There's a little number attached to it, and when that number bar fills up below it, it goes to level 2. So all of this is... Um, hostility 0, hostility 1. This last one over here becomes active at hostility level 4. So... These are more random modifiers that like make the game more difficult during the storm season. And you do have a little bit of control over that. It's tricky though. This is uh, Prestige 4. Uh, it's called Witchet, Argyle. Are you calling me a nerd, Rumpus? Bro. Did you just... Did you, did you just do that? Can't believe this guy, man. The toxicity. How would he say something so hurtful and true? Yeah. Wait, no. Rumpus is a normie? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Rumpus probably plays League of Legends. From his billion dollar apartment in Miami, with the sick view. Every once in a while he gets very angry and, you know, he throws his mouse across the room, but he just gets a new one from the drawer. Because he's probably got a stash of them. <sighs> um, let's see. Here's the trading post. Vorloff! Vorloff is coming soon, chat. Everyone get hype. Get hype? That's not even... Doesn't matter. Mm-mm. Some buildings do cause resources to move. Woodcutters camps do not. So the storm is coming. I don't think I have to worry too much for the first storm. 
You have to- okay, you've got to go to the store to get more hype. Are you making fun of the non-native English speaker right now, Rumpus? Is that what you're doing, mate? Wow, dude. Shameful. Shameful display. What does the storm do? It makes people sad. Plus it triggers all of these random modifiers. So all of these are triggered right now because the people get a little bit tilted. What's going on, Jador? Welcome. So you see the number going down here in the top left. The storm only lasts for a little while, but it'll become more and more punishing as we move forward. People get wet in the storms? Yeah, the beavers get wet. That's true, Jade. Thank you for pointing that out, mate. Okay, new people. Good news, everyone. New people. For every five villagers with the need for brawling fulfilled. I'm gonna reroll. A set uh, gains six artifacts for every two completed dangerous or forbidden blade events. Ooh. This is also pretty good. Rich Glades. Am I gonna go for this one? This one's really nice for... Upgrading the Citadel eventually. But I'm not gonna complete that many of them though. I'll probably only get like 12. Which is still good. Hmm. 